Hi, welcome to Tomb Raider. We're in Shantytown picking up all the collectibles, and this is the point that you start off uh, needing a medkit. So, if you head up here, and the reason I'm starting here is because I accidentally picked this GPS cache up, so I apologise for that. But head up and to the left and you'll find GPS cache number one. Now, hopefully by now you've picked up the orienteering skill. It's really, really going to help here. Uh, from this GPS cache, you want to head straight up. So, head around here, jump up there, look for this ramp. Jump across there with the ramp, grab on there, take a left, head around the back of this little shack, and use that to shimmy up there. And then jump across here, and you will find alarm number one, which is for the Silencer Award. Now, there's five, at least five alarms, possibly six. Um, but from there, we're going to grab this relic. So that's going to be relic number one. So then you can drop down here onto this roof and then drop down again and drop down again. Lara can take a pretty decent fall even without the climbing skill, so don't worry too much about that. And then you want to drop into this courtyard. I thought it was in this room here, but it's not. Uh, sorry, it's actually behind us this way. There we go. In here through this shotgun wall. So break out the shotgun, and it's on the table there. And you're going to notice a very dirty cut, possibly. Um, yeah, <laughs> anyway, there it is. So if you've got orienteering, it's really, really going to help, simply because you can just bang survival instinct, and it will light stuff up, and then you can mark it on the map. And you'll see here as we start to go now, you'll see how that works. Anyway, we're heading over here to the east now. Uh, and I'll be hitting survival instinct on the way. There we go, and go through this shotgun room. Uh, you'll meet some resistance if it's your first time in here. There's about six or seven guys that you'll have to fight. And now you'll see here, if you've got the item marked on the minimap, it'll actually light it up on your screen when you play. So head around the back here, up into here, and it's on this table here. That is relic number two, I think. Probably dates from the 19th century. And if you look at the top of it, you'll get the extra 10 XP reward like there. There we go. So from there, we're going to head due south, although it's not actually due south, it's basically up, to get document number one. Uh, it's directly above us. So just to the right of that doorway there, there's a um, wooden thing you can shimmy up. And on the table there is document number one, and that's Confessions of a Solari. Solari, -e? Solari, Solari. Okay, from there what we're going to do is drop down to grab this GPS cache. It's down there, you see that blue light. So what you want to do is probably zip line across here. You maybe, I know, you could probably jump it, but I like to zip line where possible. Break out the shotgun, blow that open, and you'll find it in there on the floor. So that's GPS cache number two. Then we're going to head south towards this relic. That's over there. And that's pretty easy to get to. If you head up here and then across this beam, you can go this way. There'll be a shotgun door to blow out there. And it's just on this crate in here. And that's another one of these weird uh, things. That's a horse. If you look on the bottom, you'll see it says Made in China. So it's a fake. Uh, from there, there's a GPS cache right nearby. That was relic number three. Uh, GPS cache is there. So shotgun your way through here. You can't shotgun from standing on a beam, but there's the GPS cache. And then maybe reload your shotgun. Up to you. <laughs> from there, we're going to head northwest a little bit to pick up these two documents. These are going to be documents two and three. And I think we need to head up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. So head, grab onto that, head the other side there. And then climb up this way and come around from the side is probably your best bet. There's document number one there. there are over a hundred of us now. And that's this second Confessions of a Solari for thousand. this map. And then this, the third document is just there. You can see it. Uh, we're going to tag it and then <laughs> activate it, but it's right underneath. So not very far at all. There's document number three. And there's a GPS cache right nearby too. 
And you should always check the salvage. These, it seems entirely random where these parts are. Um, yeah, I can never really, it's different parts are in different places in different playthroughs, which is annoying. Anyway, uh, that way is your next GPS cache. There's a shotgun all in the way, so blow that open and another one there, but just through there. Uh, you don't need to shoot the second one. <laughs> it's GPS cache number four. From there, we're going to head, uh, I think, south there to get relic number four. And there it is, pretty much dead ahead. There's another shotgun wall in the way. Blow that open, and you'll find a relic on a crate or something in here. A table next to a corpse of something. And that's a little cow. From there, we are going to head pretty much south. Uh, you'll see, well, if you come out of this room, you'll see uh, that thing, that crate hanging there. The crate, salvage crate in a bag, so shoot that. Or not, it's up to you. There might be a part in it. For me, there was a rifle part. And then right nearby is the entrance to a sort of church or shrine or something. Uh, you see we're facing that way, so look to the left and go up these stairs and you'll find a tomb entrance. See, it's just flashed up there. Now watch out, there's a trap and a bunch of guys will rush you. And it's kind of annoying. I've got the difficulty on easy for this pickup run. Um, on hard it's actually pretty tough to do that. I've died a couple of times there. Anyway, when you've dealt with those guys and looted them all up, uh, there's a big old salvage crate there, so don't miss that. But also on the ground there is a rope thing you can pull. Uh, there. So I pull that away and drop in here and right on top of you now, although it's hard to see on the map, is a GPS cache. So uh, there we go, turn around, come on turn around, there we go, head back this way, there it is. Um, so don't forget to bang your survival instincts and find that, you'll see it on the ground there. That's GPS cache number five. Anyway, make your way down here because we want to grab the treasure map. Uh, so head to the end of the tomb. Uh, this is basically where the tomb comes out. And this one's pretty straightforward. You just need to chuck three of these cans up onto this um, platform thing. That'll weigh it down enough to start dropping. I'm just going to use the camp to upgrade my assault rifle because I found three parts. And while I was doing that, this thing dropped down. Here it is. So stand on there, chuck the cans off again. It'll slowly lift back up once you run off it. There, jump onto it, jump to the left, onto that platform, and there we go. There is the tomb to raid. Now, once you've done that, you'll get the treasure map, which reveals all the relics for the area. There we go. So I think we only had three relics left, but uh, still, no bad thing. Anyway, heading back there, once you're out of the tomb, uh, you don't need to see that, you can work your way out, it's pretty linear. Jump up here to the right, and that is an effigy there. What you need to do is shoot a fire arrow there to light the um, sheet, and then a rope dart arrow thing, uh, and pull it down. There you go, laid to rest, challenge number one. Completed. Not completed, started. There we go, one of five effigies. And there may be more than five effigies, I'm not sure. Uh, I found five pretty easily. Anyway, from there we are at this gate that you have to open with the prying axe. If you're coming through the story, there'll be a fight there, so deal with the fight first. And there's a bunch of stuff to get around here, but you can't get most of it for quite some time yet. Before you drop down and start collecting, stand on this area here. Uh, there's a document we're going to grab down there, but look up to the right and you'll see an effigy there. See, we're looking at it there and there's the document we're going to pick up. So grab that and pull it down, and that's effigy number two. Then drop down here. You don't need to drop all the way down. I fell too far. Climb your way back up if you did what I did. But run along here, get the shotgun out, blow that wall open, and in there is uh, document number four, I think we're up to. Yeah, that was document four. Uh, from there, there's a GPS cache right nearby, but we can't get it yet, which is super frustrating. So instead, we're going to head around to that document, which seems like it's quite far away. But it's the next thing we're going to be able to get, I think. Or is it? No, there's a GPS cache first. Anyway, head here. This is the way that Grim will appear if you are doing that story mode. But just dead ahead here is a GPS cache on there. So grab that. 
Now there'll be a big old fight here if you're in the story mode, that's GPS cache 6. And just to the west is another GPS cache, that's there. We're going to go and grab that, but on the way there is an effigy and an alarm to get. There'll be a fight here, but if you want to climb up that rope there, Sometimes you can drop on and cling off the side, other times it'll just drop you down and you have to climb up there. But there's the alarm, that's alarm number two, right up there on that sort of grey area. There, so uh, use your attack button on that, or your use button to take down the alarm. And then right where Grim is standing, sorry I spent a while looking for this, so uh, it took me a while to find, but there is the third effigy. Way. See the zip line there for reference, so it's exactly if you follow the line of the zip line, you can't really miss it. There. So pull that down, and that's effigy number three. Okay, from there, jump across this way, and we're going to go grab that GPS tracker, and that's down there. Try not to climb back up uh, like me, but grab GPS cache number seven, and that is there. Then we're going to grab relic number six, I think we're up to, which is right nearby. There we go. And that's another in row. From there, yeah, that was relic five, sorry. From there, there's a GPS cache quite nearby. Uh, it's there. So what we're going to do is head up this way, and you can kind of be quite cheeky. It might take you a couple of goes to jump that barbed wire, but you can do it. And then there's a shotgun door there. So break that open to grab that GPS cache. From there there's an alarm directly above us. Uh, it's a little bit protracted to get to. Uh, we're going to tag that GPS cache and get there eventually, but in the meantime you want to scramble up here, then scramble up here, then turn around and jump uh, back this way. There we go. Then take this ramp over there to get on here, and you'll find the alarm there. And if you're in the story, be prepared for a fight there. But that is basically directly above the GPS cache, there. That's your third alarm. From there we're going to grab, not that GPS cache at all, but this relic. And this is relic number six, so head up here, drop down here, there'll be three, three guys to fight here. Uh, then head around to the left, blow that door open, and in there is relic number six. From there, just stay on the same level and head around here. Don't scramble up yet, go around the side of it and you'll find GPS cache number 9. Then we are finally going to be heading up here. And there's a whole bunch of stuff down here, so you want to drop down and the first thing you're going to find is an alarm and that's going to complete our silencer challenge, that's our alarm number 4. And then if you drop down just to the side there, you will see uh, that GPS cache that was right back at the beginning that was the wrong side of the chain link fence that we couldn't get. So go ahead and grab that, that's GPS cache number 10. Then back up this way we're going to get GPS cache number 11, so just climb your way back up here and da -dum, there it is in amongst that pile of grossness with bodies sticking out. Uh, there's a couple of documents right nearby. One is on the... well, they're both on the ground level, basically. One is under these stairs, so go around to the side and in here, and you'll find the document on the table there. My warriors of the sun. That's what Diaries of a Madman is, uh, Matthias's notes. And then there's another... sorry, a relic there, which is right nearby. Same level table there next to some barrels. Oh, that's a jade drinking vessel. So we're up to seven documents, five relics now. Not much to go, there's a GPS cache directly above us. So climb your way all the way up here. It might have made more sense to get this before we drop down, possibly. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, uh, you want to jump across this gap here. This is where you're going to go, that's, that's where Grim tells you to go, and I'm yet to go there. There's the fifth alarm. So there are lots of alarms around. Uh, but the GPS cache is there at the top. So snag that for GPS cache number 12. And then if you look north, you will find, there we go, you'll find uh, a um, effigy. Now I found this last, but I had to run back over this way to get it. I'll show you a better reference point to find that, but if you want to grab it while you're up there, that makes sense. 
Anyway, from there, we're going to head this way to grab this GPS cache, and this is all the way down here. So you want to kind of drop your way this way. She, Lara can take a pretty far drop, she'll be fine. Shotgun your way through there, and there it is, there, in amongst that bush. So sorry, I've gone up, down, up, down, up, down. It's all a bit confusing. Not the best run, but we are getting there. There's just two GPS caches and a treasure map to go. So then we're going to head over to the camp. That's out here to the east. You can blow that up if you want. I always check these salvage things just in case there's a weapon part. You never know. It does seem to be random. There's your fifth camp. Fourth camp, I think. Uh, there we go. Uh, and just above this camp is effigy number four or effigy number five if you've got the last one. And then looking up to the left there. No, oh, come on, Laura. Look up that way. No, there it is. There we are. See, there's the other effigy that we got last time. But I end up having to climb all the way back up to grab that uh, because the rope arrow wouldn't reach. So I couldn't get that way. So uh, 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 I had to go this way. And so yeah, lots of up and downing on this one. Sorry, it wasn't a very clean run at all. But there it is, as you know, right by that last GPS cache. So yank that down. Bloop. Now, what we're going to do is head uh, south back to that tomb and that camp. So uh, you can just drop down very easily from here. There we go, just uh, off this plank. And into the tomb, immediately on your... Well, not only immediately, but here on your left in this little alcove, you're going to see a GPS cache there. So grab that. There we go. And then uh, from there, carry on into the tomb. I've cut ahead to standing at the camp, and that's camp five for this map. And this one's pretty similar to the last one. You basically chuck three cans. You'll need to use the rope to smash that. I got obsessed with trying to light those, I apologize. But grab three cans. You'll need to use the rope for one. Chuck them up on that shelf. That'll knock all three cans down. Sorry, you need to chuck two up. There's one already up there. Then grab two more and chuck them onto there. That'll knock the fourth one down. And then you want to chuck four cans into... See, yeah, I don't know why I got obsessed with trying to burn those, but I did. Nothing came out. But chuck four cans onto that seesaw thing. You can see one of the cans got stuck at the top for me. There, so I shot it down. It's fine. And that will give a counterweight, which allows you to run up here, grab this orienteering wall. I don't know what I'm calling an orienteering wall. A craggy wall climbing wall, whatever, jump onto the ladder, grab there, run across here, open that, and I got a handgun part out of here. And I think I mentioned this earlier, but I seem to only get handgun parts from raiding tombs, which is peculiar, but such is life. Anyway, that's the Shantytown GPS map, GPS cache map updated, which is our last GPS cache, and that is this way. So leaving the tomb, I won't show you just running back, you can work that out for yourself, head this way, uh, you may have noticed this thing, what you do is shoot fire arrows through the holes at the crates, there we go. But I've done this on two saves now and never had a weapon part drop out, which is a shame. You think a challenge like that, you'd have to, but whatever. There is the final GPS cache. 15 out of 15, and you should have five camps if you're playing through the story at this point. If you need the sixth camp, that will be later on after you meet uh, Roth. Um, it is this way, here, just before you bombard the bridge. But anyway, five documents, seven relics, 15 GPS caches, two treasure maps, two tombs. And um, what are we missing? Something else. Uh, oh, the uh, two challenges. Anyway, Roth is there, that's where he snipes from. Um, and that's where the camp is. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and found it useful. Uh, the previous mission, I forget what it's called, <laughs> mountain base is there on the left, and the geothermal caverns are there on the right. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.